Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Guess what everyone? Dylan Mulvaney has yet another copycat that has decided to come out and do the parody that Dylan Mulvaney is most infamously known for, the Days of Girlhood videos, the ones that parodied and mocked the likes of real women everywhere. And Dylan Mulvaney originally decided to come out as being gay, but that wasn't good enough for Dylan. So Dylan then decided to come out as being a girl, not a woman, a girl, which was rather concerning. And guess what? That seemed to work. A lot of people frothed at the idea that Dylan Mulvaney, who is an absolute larrikin and a character, as it were, uh, on those videos, it seemed to really put Dylan Mulvaney at the forefront of society and give Dylan Mulvaney everything that Dylan actually wanted. The fame, the notoriety, the success, the money, the accolades, everything. So the character that Dylan Mulvaney had created for Dylan's self is now out in the open and everybody is, well, the ones that live in woke land, frothed over it. And as we know, Dylan Mulvaney almost brought down Bud Light. <laughs> The backlash and the boycott of Bud Light is one of the greatest to date and also one of the saddest as well because a lot of the people that were working for Bud Light ended up suffering from the boycott. It's unfortunate when big companies like Bud Light decide to go woke or even Disney because the ones that really seem to cop it are the employees, the ones that may not actually align with or agree with the so-called agenda, but they're caught up in the mix. No, I'm not also talking about James is smiling in regards to the copycats or any of the other ones that Dylan Mulvaney has actually produced. I'm talking about the likes of former Bachelorette star Josh Siter, as Josh decided to come out recently as being a girl, not a woman, but a girl. So Josh has decided to show off day 10 of being a girl. Have a watch, everybody. Hey everyone, so it's day 10 of being a girl and I am feeling fabulous. Um, I think one thing that helps is just waking up and doing my makeup every day, getting pretty, really makes me feel like the strong, independent woman that I am. Um, I don't need anybody's help. I can do everything on my own. And having a face full of makeup really helps me feel and embody that strong woman that I feel like on the inside. So if you know what I'm talking about, drop a comment. Bye, everyone. Hey. Let me just say this to start off with, okay? I thought that this was a joke to start off with. When I first saw this, I'm like, you know what? I think Josh is just deciding to mock the likes of people that decide to come out as being, quote, girls or women. But no, in fact, this happens to be a real deal for Josh. Josh really does believe that Josh is a girl and a strong, independent woman because Josh got up one day and decided, you know what, I'm going to act like a girl and I, I feel like a woman somehow. And then Josh decided to put on makeup and lo and behold, that suddenly makes Josh a woman, so to speak. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yes, I am actually really shocked myself that Josh decided to wake up one day and look down and go, you know what, that's not a that's not a male penis, that is a female penis. And ah, uh, my entire body, my physique, that's not a male physique, that is a female physique somehow. I, I just, I, I can't anymore, man. Like I, I really don't understand why people do this. Like, Please, somebody in the comments explain. Everyone's going, oh, it's my identity. It's what I want. Most of all, um, I want sanity. I want reality to be normalized, please. <laughs> because this kind of stuff not only hurts my brain, but it just makes me really fed up with the likes of society as a whole. Because these people are given a massive platform to share this kind of nonsense with the rest of the world. That hurts my brain. Um, I don't. And my eyes too. Ah, that strong feeling of being a woman on the inside. So it's got nothing else. What does that really entail, Josh, I wonder? 
the feeling of being a woman. Maybe the ladies in uh, the comment section, the real ladies, I should say, in the comment section can um, let me know what it means to not only feel like a woman, but be a woman. Like, I would love to hear an explanation. I don't know because I'm not a woman and I'll never be a woman and I'm actually one that is quite happy about that. I love women and I want to be with a woman one day, but I know that I'm never going to be a woman, so therefore I'm not even going to bother trying. It seems like a massive waste of time to me. You're only given a short amount of time to live on this life, but this guy uh, doesn't want to live life the best way possible. No, Josh has decided I'm going to change my life. I'm going to flip it upside down and put makeup on, dress like a woman, and that means I feel like a, a strong, independent woman inside. It's a nice feeling inside, people. Whatever helps you sleep at night, again, mate, honestly. But then again, I have a huge issue with this too because Josh is copying Dylan Mulvaney, who, as we know, mocks women. Josh is doing the exact same thing here. It's clear as day. It's clear as day. It's almost as if like the parody is like evident. And that's why I initially thought when I was watching it, this must be a parody yet again of Dylan Mulvaney. But Josh is getting a lot of notoriety at the moment because, well, former Bachelorette star, I don't know. Like <laughs> it's very, very interesting to me. Anyway, Dr. Jordan Peterson put on Twitter, I am beholding yet another truly stunning beauty as my re-education unfolds. How am I doing, CPA Ontario? Is enough of my brain shut off now that I can keep my license? So as we know, the whole uh, controversy or the issue, Jordan Peterson potentially losing his clinical license for criticizing people like this. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to point them towards the truth of reality or normalcy. You can't do that anymore. So this is a before photo of what Josh used to look like without all the makeup. And then you've obviously got the after with Josh in a crop top, short shorts that's probably riding the, uh, the um, you know what, uh, the earrings and a little bit of makeup and that's all you need people to feel like a woman and then claim that you Everywhere. are one. So anyway, moving on to uh, Josh claiming that uh, there's transphobia that's uh, quite rife in society and uh, have a watch of Josh talk about this transphobia and what it means to Josh. Hey everyone, sorry I look like a hot mess today. Um, I just wanted to vent a little bit. Um, I feel like dates can be so cheap. Um, the last couple of dates that I've gone on, um, I've expected the guy to pay because I feel like the man should pay for the first date and they just don't want to. Um, and so I just had a date earlier this afternoon and I sat there when the bill came and finally I just said, the guy should pay first and kind of pushed it towards him and he said well in that case you should pay and I just thought that is so rude and I just don't understand what the issue is I feel like everyone's trying to get something for free these days um I don't understand I just want to go on a date and have the man be a gentleman and treat me right treat me like a woman um so if any of you are having the same experience let me know so Josh is talking about how if a guy that knows that he's a guy, right, knows he's a male, he's on a date with a woman, let's say. Uh, Josh is complaining that the man is the one that's supposed to pay, right? That is the chivalrous thing to do, you know? I would pay for the meal, drinks, so forth, if I was on a date with a real woman. But Josh is going, well, it's unfair because he wa Josh wants the man to pay for Josh because Josh thinks that Josh is a woman or a girl 
whatever Josh thinks that Josh is. But I'm pretty sure that the guy that Josh is on a date with doesn't see Josh as a woman. So therefore the guy that Josh is on a date with per se is like, why should I have to pay for another dude that I'm on a date with? That doesn't make any sense from a chivalry standpoint. I mean, it makes sense from a kindness standpoint, but not from a chivalry standpoint at all. Because the point of chivalry is men being nice and doing the right thing by a lady. The fairer sex. Yes, that is accurate. Men should be and should treat women with utmost decency and respect, especially when they're out on a date. If a woman takes the time and spends a lot of money putting on the makeup and getting ready to go on a date with you, maybe you should put in a little bit of effort and maybe you should also pay for the bill. But the thing is, Josh isn't a real woman. Josh is acting like a woman. There is a big difference there. So therefore, Josh, mate, I hate to break it to you, but there's no point in complaining over the fact that the guy you're on a date with didn't pay for you because he probably sees you as a dude like everybody else does. <laughs> that just, mate, that's reality for you. I know it hits like a ton of bricks sometimes, doesn't it? It's not because of this so-called transphobia. It's because the guy that you're on a date with more than likely doesn't see you as the woman that you so-called feel that you are inside. Honestly, I, the way that this person acts, I can't help but think to myself, is it still a joke? Is it still a parody? Because the way that Josh is talking, the mannerisms, everything, like I honestly cannot believe for the life of me that <laughs> this is actually real. Like if it is real, then it's real. But if it's not real and it's all a, a parody and a joke, my goodness, like Josh, mate, wow. <laughs> Absolutely wow, man. Um, anyway, I've got nothing else to say about that. Uh, I'm not trying to be mean or anything of that sort. I, I'm just trying to point out certain things that Josh has said and alluded to like the the whole instance of everyone's trying to get things for free these days. Like, no, that's not entirely true. If you find a good person, one that is going to treat you right, which Josh claims that Josh wants and Josh wants the person to see Josh as a, a strong independent woman that Josh so-called feels like, I just can't, man. I just, nah, I, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> oh, man. The things that you see on the internet these days. Anyway, my friends, this is all because of Dylan Mulvaney and Dylan Mulvaney putting Dylan's self in the days of girlhood. I wonder what Josh is going to do next. I wonder. And if, he's, and if Josh is going to take any advice from the likes of Dylan Mulvaney I wonder, I wonder if Josh will go as big or bigger than Dylan Mulvaney. We'll see. We will see indeed. Anyway, my friends, you take care, you be blessed, and I'll see you all in the next video.